How's it going movie fans? The 15th of October 2022 is the 53rd birthday of actor Dominic West. A two-time BAFTA Award nominated actor winning one and a two-time Golden Globe nominee, West's on-screen acting debut came with a short film titled Three Joes in 1991, with his first feature film appearance coming four years later in 1995. West's breakthrough role, and perhaps still his most notable, came in 2002 with the release of television show The Wire. West currently has one project in production, with TV miniseries SAS Rogue Heroes, which is due for release later in 2022. Here are the Firewall's top 10 Dominic West movies. At number 10 is Testament of Youth. In this war drama, based on the memoir of the same name, West plays Mr. Britton, the father of Vera Britton, who in 1914, against her father's wishes, enrolls at Oxford University and begins a romance with Roland Layton, a friend of her brother's, but with the start of World War I, Roland joins the army. The run time's on 29 minutes, and Testament of Youth has the firewall rating of 6.9 out of 10. At number 9 is A Christmas Carol. A made-for-TV adaptation of the 1843 novella of the same name, West plays Fred, the nephew of moneylender Ebenezer Scrooge. Scrooge turns down Fred's Christmas dinner invitation as he has a dislike for Christmas. Scrooge is then visited by three spirits on Christmas Eve. The rhyme times 97 minutes, and A Christmas Carol has the firewall rating of 7. At number 8 is The Square. Christian is the curator for a contemporary art museum who is making plans for a new exhibit known as The Square. The exhibit itself is controversial and when marketing for the exhibit is received poorly and after his possessions are stolen, Christian's respectable reputation begins to fall apart. West plays Julian, a famous artist. The run time's on 51 minutes and The Square has the firewall rating of 7. At number 7 is Colette. Based on the life of Sidonie Gabrielle Collette, who in 1893 marries French writer Willie, played by West. Willie is struggling to maintain his expensive lifestyle when the pair stumble upon a hit after a novel written by Colette, which was based on her school years, is published by Willie under his name. The run time's on 11 minutes, and Colette has the vowel rating of 7.1. At number 6 is 300. Adapted from the comic series of the same name, King Leonidas of Sparta, who goes against the orders of the senior Spartan magistrates when he leads 300 Spartans into battle against an invading force of over 100,000 Persians led by King Xerxes. West plays Theron, a corrupt Spartan politician. The run time's 117 minutes, and 300 has the foul rating of 7.3. At number 5, is Richard III. In this adaptation of the William Shakespeare play of the same name, with the setting changed to 1930s Britain, West makes his first feature film appearance as Henry, the Earl of Richmond. Meanwhile, Richard III is ruling over a fascist government and plots to usurp the throne. The run time's on 10 minutes, and Richard III has the firewall rating of 7.3. At number 4, is Chicago. Set in the 1920s and based on the stage musical of the same name, Roxy Hart is a chorus girl and Velma Kelly is a nightclub singer who are both sent to prison for murder and are facing the death penalty. West plays Fred Casely, a furniture salesman who has an affair with Roxy. The run time's on 13 minutes and Chicago has the firewall rating of 7.3. At number 3 is Burton and Taylor. West received a BAFTA Award nomination for Best Actor for his performance as Richard Burton in this made-for-TV biopic which depicts aging movie star Burton as he prepares to star in a play titled Private Lives alongside his ex-wife Elizabeth Taylor, who he remains good friends with. The run time is 83 minutes, and Burton and Taylor has the foal rating of 7.4. At number 2, is Finding Dory. In this sequel to 2003's Finding Nemo, West voices Rudder, a California sea lion, who along with his friend Fluke, meet clownfish Marlin and Nemo as they search for Dory. While trying to rediscover where she came from in order to find her parents, Dory is captured by the staff of a marine life institute. The run time's 97 minutes, and Finding Dory has the firewall rating of 7.8. At number one is Pride. Based on a true story, West plays Jonathan Blake, the second person to be diagnosed with HIV in the UK, and who along with his partner Gethin Roberts, are among the first members of a group named Lesbians and Gays Support the Miners, founded to support the miners' strike in 1984. The run time's 119 minutes, and Pride has the firewall rating of 7.9. Thanks for watching, next week I'll be counting down the firewall's top 10 Jeff Goldblum movies, and if you enjoyed this list, please don't forget to leave a like, comment, and subscribe.